Welcome back to Breaking the Mold. We're still here with Tiffany Mink, who is the Warp Tour pit reporter. Um, so it's it's been a, it's been a long interview so far, but I'd like to thank you, and uh, we like to thank Martin Brown and Martin Brown Photography for hooking us up with the interview because you guys are friends, and he told me all about it. So thank you, Martin. Thanks, Martin. <laughs> Um, it actually makes it better heart if you do it this way. If I do it this way? With your, with your th like, oh, down. Like, it's just weird. Just don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, don't. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's just um, talk a little bit more about Warp Tour and stuff like that. So outside of just doing work for it um, and everything like that, what are some of your favorite experiences in terms of, like, personal, um, like, meeting bands and everything like that and just doing things like that that you thought you would never be able to do? I met my fiance. That was important, I guess. That's important. <laughs> uh, he's in the band Gallows, and they turned out to be really, really cool guys. It was one of the few bands that I hadn't seen yet that were playing Warp Tour that I already knew. And being able to see the Ataris the first day again, which the only time I'd seen them before was my first Warp Tour, and they were my first band there. And then my first day there, I made sure to catch them too. So that was a really almost humbling moment for me. Like. You know, I was over the, on the other side of the barrier eight years ago, and now I'm side stage. And it was just, that was when it first kind of sank in, like, this is awesome. Uh, there was one specific moment where I was just, my life is absolutely crazy, was side stage of 303, hanging out with my good friend Mike Kaminsky, who's our manager, and Chris Two from Anaflag, who I was super stoked to work with. And we're standing behind little John, who guessed it was in Uniondale in uh, New York and he guessed I guess like appearance with him and came out and sang on I think it was Choke Chain and me and Lil John and Chris Two are all dancing side stage to 303 and I just look out in the sea of crowd just all like dancing and having a good time and I was like my life is incredible because the things like that just don't happen all the time and I could do Warped Tour forever and a moment like that is so rare even even then. But those are probably the biggest things that that happened when I was out there personally that I was just, you know, that really made it my own experience. Okay. Well, that's great. I mean, so I'm um, talking about 303 a little bit. They're not really a warp tour kind of band. Mm -hmm. But so and this is not we're not going to, you know, disrespect any bands, but what's it like from people that obviously are kind of old school warp tour when like for example, when Warp Tour used to come through Asbury Park, it was all punk bands. Like it was like when Warp Tour was just starting out, and now it's like a new generation. So, how has your experience like mixing the old with the new been? I mean, it's something that Warp Tour has been gradu you know, it's gradually been heading in that direction. There's just more music that's available, is what it boils down to. Is there's more artists, there's more different sounds, there's more different genres, and everyone wants to do their own thing. So, because there's just more music. It gives Warp Tour, I think it's more of an opportunity to expand. And we get to bring more people because Warp's all about bringing the most diverse people together to all have a really good time. So, and I think a lot of the bands out there recognize that too. And the bands that are really kind of off the wall and don't seem to fit in, like 303, really great dudes, some of the most grateful dudes to be out there with everyone else too. And they were friends with everyone, everybody loved them. It was very like shameless, everyone shamelessly loved love 303 and it you just become a family out there regardless of what type of music you play or what you sound like because at the end of the day no one no favors are played to anyone and you know, kevin treats a headlining band the same as he treats a kevin says band and that is that's the truth so everyone is still on the same level regardless you know of genre or how long they've been on the tour or anything so it's not really there's no there's not a lot of like behind the scenes fighting or beef. You know, with a lot of bands, I mean, someone may have a personal issue with something, but that's totally unrelated. But aside from that, it's everyone's everyone's really chill. Okay. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun right here because I know Warped Tour can get a little bit crazy. So my first question for you is, what has been your favorite Fat Mike antic? Oh, my favorite Fat Mike antic. Actually, can we preface this? Because I don't yes. know if some people know who Fat Mike is. He's sure. Fat Mike is the uh, lead singer and guitarist for No Effects. Bassist. Bassist. Yeah, guitarist. Guitarist. Yeah. No basses. No basses. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's a bassist. Yeah, and he's just ridiculous. So yeah, you can. Yeah. Fat Mike is just unruly on stage. It just he is 
just a personality is all I'm going to say. <laughs> but we had, it was one one of the days in Canada. We were doing, it was you know, we were in catering, everyone was having dinner. And I look over and there's this table that has this really nice tablecloth. And you see like Lisa Brownlee, who's a big tour manager and all these kind of higher ups all sitting at that table. And then Fat Mike comes and sits down and I was like, what is this? And they, someone came out and they brought all this fancy cheese and all this wine, and all this champagne. And I was like, what is this? And I took my camera over there and I was talking to Lisa and I was like, what's happening? And she was like, well, Fat Mike decides that we're going to have a night in style. And he set everything up for him, which was really, really cool. But it's just only, only Fat Mike would do that in catering while everyone else, you know, we get, we all get the same thing. And then they get like prime rib and all this fancy champagne. And it was just like, really? <laughs> but it, it was it was cool. It was a, it was really fun. Everyone got a kick out of it. All right. Well, we have we have a lot more to talk about and we're going to save it for the f after the break, because there's a lot of stuff that goes down on Warped Tour that people really don't know about, I would say. <laughs> so stay tuned. There's going to be more of Tiffany Mink here on Breaking the Mold. <laughs> 